why are we focusing on heart and brain health? Why is it so important? It is important because of the prevalence. So we have a very high burden of uh, disease in uh, South Africa, but also on the continent. And we know that globally, uh, cardiovascular disease still sits as a very high burden of disease. This includes high income countries, not just low and middle income countries. And so I'm just gonna zone in on that last bullet there, which says collaborative public and health worker education and awareness should therefore have three pillars, which is primary and secondary prevention, targeting the vulnerable, and importance of post-event cardiac and stroke rehabilitation. Very quickly about RAIN Foundation, um, the perspective uh, we take to the problem is to um, uh, really improve the accessibility and the affordability, and more so just think of it from a self-management um, uh, of care at home. And the idea here is, um, let's say we were to um, you know, magically provide unlimited access to doctors, medicine, hospitals, um, but we believe the true outcome is still dependent on how the patient adheres to the advice. If we look at the picture, we can easily see that failure to make risk factor modification itself lead to 80% burden of the CVD. If we divide the risk factor, risk factor are basically two types, non-modifiable risk factor and modifiable risk factor basically. Uh, we cannot do much with the non-modifiable risk factors, but we can definitely manage or try to prevent the modifiable risk factor in our life and decrease the burden of the CVD. And so in these um, you know, next few minutes, I'm just going to talk about why we are talking about digital health uh, for cardiovascular. And many of you who I see here are familiar to the concepts of, uh, of course, cardiovascular disease, but also have used some form of technology, I hope, uh, you know, in their um, you know, work. Um, and so we know the gen typical journey for a patient care pathway starts with awareness, hopefully uh, goes to screening, uh, diagnosis, uh, leading to uh, some kind of treatment. Um, and then hopefully the patients continue to adhere to uh, the therapy and goes on to uh, chronic management. So now I'm going to uh, walk you through our solution. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, um, what we focus on in terms of uh, preventive and behavioral health is around six areas of care management. Um, on the wellness side, it is nutrition management, uh, stress or mental health management, uh, physical health management, um, there, and then there's medication management, vitals management, and symptoms management. In 30 seconds, we'll record all these vitals in one shot. And then the trends of these vitals are available to share with the physician. Um, from a nutrition perspective, uh, they would have to say, um, you know, whatever they eat for uh, breakfast, uh, the food and calories I happen to enter this year, I say I eat a two slice, uh, two slice wheat, wheat toast and butter and jam. And uh, I have pre-entered that and I add that to my thing um, and then keeps track, you know, breakfast, lunch, water consumption. Uh, we are working on this to make it more intelligent. Today, you have to enter the food item and the calories, but uh, Pretty soon, once you tell the food items, then we'll automatically look up the calories. Um, the uh, activity, as long as you are um, wearing a today wearable, like an Apple Watch uh, or anything that uh, integrates into Apple Health or Google Health, we read those numbers and we keep track of that. Um, you can, uh, uh, from a mindfulness and mental health perspective, um, you can you can you know you can start your timer with the uh, mindfulness and and then uh, once you're done with it um, you know it, it'll record your um, uh, you know the amount of time you spent. Visit our website to learn more about how Rain Health Guru helps clarify doubts and provides expert advice for preventive health while assisting individuals in chronic care management. Thank you.